So it was, it was on a Thursday afternoon, as I usually I block a few, uh, a, couple of hour, a couple of hours, to, to talk with new prospects. And I have been exchanging some emails with, with a prospect that had been referred to me by an existing client. That's normally an easy sale. And um, I, even though the, 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 the emails, he wasn't really communicating with me the, the way I, I liked, as he was coming from a, a, a nice client of mine, I've just decided to book a meeting with him and I, to, to, to sit with him. And as you all know, when we are in that role, our job is to make the prospect talk, to, to learn about their business, to see how it's going to how it's going to work. And I like to have my first question is why we're here. Might sound obvious, but it's not every single time. And on that, that particular occasion, the, the client looked at me and said, well, well yeah, I'm a, I want you to build me a new website. OK, pretty good. That's something I'm comfortable with. I can help you with that. But uh, let me dig a bit further. Why do you need a, a new website? And that was two questions. And I got the answer that we all ate, the commonly, uh, well, uh, but I, it's, it's, what, what do you mean? It's like, I, everyone has one. Sh should I have, shouldn't I have one too? No? Well, well, massive red flag. As long as the people you're interacting with consider a website as just something that you do and do not perceive all the value that it can bring to their businesses go away from those people. Because with those people, you always be the guy or the girl, the community that provide the community. You will receive the email. Oh, I'd like to add a, a blue button on that page. Please add, uh, add a blue button on that page. And you'll add the blue button on that page. And the day you want to change it, well, OK, he's, he's going to find someone else to add that blue button. Start, stop selling website. Start selling value. In, in, in the few minutes that we have together today, I'm going to share with you the four steps I implement with my clients to provide value within their businesses. The first step, it's a bit obvious, but it's the attraction. You have to help your clients attract visitors. You need to have visitors on the side, otherwise nothing's going to happen, happen ever. We all say that, but your job is not necessarily to blog, but it's to help your client produce content. You can produce content if you're comfortable with that, or can you can use copywriters. There may be some copywriters in, in, in the room today. You finally got some visitors on the side. You might get some business done. Next step, conversion. You should implement some tactics and develop and configure some tools to help and to guide those visitors into turning, into converting, into leads. Because a visitor for your client, well, you know, it's a vanity metrics. Oh, yeah, I've got a thousand visitors a day on my website. OK, that might be awesome or that might be completely useless, depending on what's going to happen with those visitors. But when you start generating leads, leads have a clear value in the eyes of your customers. That's something that the guy selling commodity does not do. He does not provide leads to his clients. But leads, it's only the start. Of course, you, you see me coming, the third step. Close those leads. You've been converting them using some downloadable contents, using some landing page, call to actions, forms, thank you page. Well, you know the tricks. And now you have them. What are you going to do? You have to nurture those leads. You get, you've got to send them emails, mostly, and automate as much as you can. Beres does a tip from, you, from me to you. Uh, there's an amazing tool to do that that really helps me uh, adding plenty of value for my clients, which is called ActiveCampaign. I don't know if you know this. If you don't, if you still use MailChimp, 
go check it out. It's really, really awesome. And there we are. Thanks to your job, with your help, you provided new clients to your customer. And you might say, yeah, but didn't I talk about four step? I already provide clients. Is, is, is it over? No, it's just beginning. That is now the time to have some really good fun. That's the easiest part of the tree. It is now time to help your client delight their own customers. To do that, you just have to basically keep the conversation open, S continuously bringing added value to those customers, ask for their opinion. And also, the email is going is to be useful. You can give, this some, you give, you can give them some bonus, etc. Well, at the end of the day, implementing those four steps for your clients' businesses will help them grow their businesses. And I truly believe that is the best way to grow your own. You will be able to finally switch from one-shot website creation project to retainers and to continuously improve yourself and the results for your clients. I am Laurent Maillard. I spend my days uh, building the number one inbound marketing agency in Luxembourg, and I blog regularly on growmybusiness.lu. Thank you very much.